let's measure you. Looks like you are exactly 66 centimeters tall. Squeaks and I have been measuring ourselves. I'm about the usual size for a human grown-up, and he's about the usual size for a robot rat. Rats are pretty small, and so are a lot of the animals that they're related to, called rodents. Mice, rats, guinea pigs, squirrels, and chipmunks are all part of the rodent family. But not all of them are small. Meet the capybara, the biggest rodent in the world. It's a rodent of unusual size. Capybaras weigh a lot more than squeaks. They can weigh up to 65 kilograms, about as much as a grown-up human. And they can be over a meter long. That's 100 centimeters. And size is not the only thing that's unusual about the capybara. They have big barrel-like bodies with long shaggy hair, no tail, and webbing between their toes. They also have an unusual way of eating. They chew from side to side like a camel, not up and down like humans. They can also regurgitate their food. That's a fancy word for bringing food back up again after it's swallowed. When humans, like us, regurgitate our food, it usually means we're sick or that something's wrong. But some animals, like cows and goats, regurgitate their food to give them a second chance to break it down by chewing it. Since capybaras eat a lot of tough plants, a little extra chewing makes their food easier to digest or break down once it's inside their bodies that makes their body's job a little easier. Just like other animals in the rodent family, capybaras have long, sharp front teeth that never stop growing. Eating all those plants wears their teeth down, so their teeth help them out by keeping on growing. And boy, do they eat a lot of plants. A capybara can eat almost four kilograms of grass in one day. And capybaras don't just eat grass and other plants, they also eat their own poop. Doing that would make animals like humans very sick, but for capybaras, it's just another trick to help them digest their food. Their poop has nutrients and bacteria that they need to help them digest all that grass they eat. It sounds kind of unusual to me, and it makes me glad I'm not a capybara. Capybaras also need water to survive, and not just for drinking. They live next to bodies of water, like lakes, rivers, and ponds. They eat plants that grow near water, and they spend a lot of their time not just next to water, but in it. Squeaks does love swimming, but most rodents like to live on dry land. Not capybaras, though. They seem just as comfortable hanging out in water as they are on land. It helps that capybaras have partially webbed feet, which makes them excellent swimmers and sometimes even divers. And their eyes, ears, and nostrils are all on top of their heads, so they can keep most of their body below the water and still see, hear, and breathe. Spending time in the water is super useful for them. When the weather gets hot, capybaras wallow in the water to keep cool. Plus, they can hide underwater to avoid predators, who may try to hunt and eat them. They can even press their ears down against their heads to keep the water out. And they can stay underwater for up to five minutes. That's a lot longer than I can stay underwater. Living in groups is also very important to capybaras. They all cooperate to take care of each other and all their babies. And when one capybara notices a predator coming, it'll make barking sounds to warn the rest of the group, which sends the whole group into the water to hide and stay safe. Capybaras are usually calm and gentle, which is why you'll sometimes see other animals using them as a comfy place to sit. Some birds like to sit on a capybara and eat the insects hiding in the ground they eat, or even eat insects right out of the capybara's hair. Capybara hair is rough, not soft like a dog's fur. So while a capybara might let you pet it, you might not enjoy it all that much. You also might not enjoy their big, sharp front teeth, which they use for playing. Capybaras are pretty amazing and unusual, which makes them my favorite rodent. After you, of course, Squeaks. Thanks for joining us. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks and me, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check us out on the YouTube Kids app. Thanks, and we'll see you next time here at the fort.